If the opinions of others affect your self-esteem, it is because you have agreed that your value can be reassessed based on how useful and significant you are to other people. When those around us recognize our contributions to society, we often feel valued by their respect, praise, admiration, and support. However, this is not true self-esteem. Rather, it's the gratification from external validation which we've been conditioned to equate with worthiness. True confidence comes from trusting yourself and your abilities, regardless of outside opinions. Your worth is not determined by your appearance or possessions. Embrace your uniqueness and let go of societal standards. Remember that everyone has flaws and imperfections. Accepting yours is the first step towards self-love. When you're sure of yourself and your worth, envy, anxiety, blame, shame, lies, abuse, even compliments will not affect you. This is evidenced in how someone reacts to the remarks of others. If they are shaken or insecure about themselves, then hearing a compliment or insult has more impact than it would for one who trusts their own opinion. Thus, by accepting ourselves as we are, we become less vulnerable to all external criticism and appear far more confident. Do not let others dictate your worth. You are deserving of love and respect simply for existing. Don't seek validation from others. Validation comes from within, and you are capable of giving it to yourself. The greatest gift you can give yourself is the gift of self-love and self-respect. Stop sacrificing your own needs and desires for the sake of others. It's okay to prioritize yourself. Society falsely instructs nice guys to equate their worth with the success they achieve and falsely regards heroes as the epitome of masculinity. Men who are willing to lay down their lives for a greater cause, perpetuating the idea that men should sacrifice themselves if they should deem themselves worthy. Being a nice guy is not the problem. The problem is when you use your niceness as a tool to manipulate and control others. Being a nice guy is not a personality trait. It is a behavior that can be changed. Comparing yourself to others only breeds insecurity. Focus on your own growth and progress. The underlying issue for nice guys having trouble with women is often connected to their overall demeanor. They think, if I were only getting laid, then I would be content. However, when a male appears cheerful, jovial, and contented, it conveys that he has achieved success in pursuit of female companionship amplifying the likelihood of further successes. Self-love is not selfish. It's a necessary foundation for a happy and fulfilling life. You are not responsible for fixing other people's problems. Focus on being a supportive listener and offering guidance if asked. The key to overcoming nice guy syndrome is to shift your focus from external validation to internal validation. Confident males don't fear rejection. They embrace it as a necessary step towards success. Not many men are aware that their lack of success with women is due to the fact that they are more often than not rejecting themselves rather than being outright rejected by women. Real men don't fear rejection. They fear the regret of not trying. Many nice guys assume that simply avoiding what they do not want will automatically lead them to the life they desire, but the world does not work in such a simplistic manner. Where your attention goes, energy flows. You attract more of what you focus on. You are not defined by the rejection you face, but by the way you handle it. 
Don't hide your intentions from women. It only leads to wasted time and heartache. Successfully navigating life is the result of taking initiatives and looking out for yourself, as no one else will do it for you. All signs of submission only make women more attractive, as it is seen to be the natural and appropriate choice for those that are vulnerable. Nice guys feel inadequate and lacking in confidence around women because they think that to be confident on the inside, they must have certain qualities or items that they believe women desire. This feeling of inadequacy prevents them from being able to approach a woman with self-assuredness. Nice guys tend to focus on succeeding in society as a means of attaining worthiness, believing that when they do reach this level, then and only then will women be attracted to them. As such, these men put off their need for female companionship until they have achieved success which, they believe, is necessary for validation. Nice guys often struggle with voicing their thoughts, feeling uncertain due to discomfort about themselves and around women. Consequently, they hesitate to express themselves for fear of contradicting women or inciting their disapproval. While most nice guys think that women are drawn to superficial things such as wealth, this is simply not the truth. There exists a natural way to attract women which has nothing to do with money or any other man-made substance. To attract women, it is important to convey care and concern for them. This may not be as complicated or as demanding as most nice guys think. Women are naturally drawn to a certain type of man on a biological level which cannot be changed by any other factors like socialization. Their understanding of how they want to feel cared for can differ greatly from what society expects us men should do. Those we perceive as having high self-esteem are likely people who consistently put themselves first, regardless of any inner turmoil they may experience. This is a conscious choice that they make over and over again. Thus. Self-esteem is often referred to as an attitude of self-worth, which can be seen in the way these people behave and think. They believe they are worthy and valuable no matter what, and this is reflected in their actions. On the other hand, those with low self-esteem often struggle to make decisions that will ultimately benefit them, instead focusing on what they think others may want or need.